hello and welcome. I am excited today to share with you just one of the so basic questions that I have been integrating into my world forever. And it's just a so simple and it kind of cuts through all the crap. <laughs> Like, it cuts through the critical mind, it cuts through the hmm, overwhelmingness sometimes when you want to change, and when you really want to change, it's it can be as easy as asking this one question. Hmm. So, with no further ado, the question I like to ask is, what is one inspired action I can take today. Hmm. Because when you focus on one action and in kind of a hmm I guess I guess if I was gonna nudge one to push beyond the envelope of what your reality is right now I would then, I would kind of, before I ask that question, I would place whatever that holy grail is in my mind's eye. So maybe it's having a lover to wake up with every morning, or maybe it's uh, having a new horse in my life, <laughs> or maybe it's moving to Hawaii. I don't know what it is. What is that sort of thing that you've been seeking or... How could I be more at peace? How could I let go of grief? These are some questions that one might be on a journey to discover. So now go ahead and if you can, if you don't, then don't. But go ahead and just kind of see that whatever it is you've been seeking. Wow, mine was really interesting. And then say to yourself, what is one inspired action I can take today? And then see if you get an action that shows up in your third eye or in your mind. Or another thing you can do is hold a pen and then write it down. So let's do a meditation on that. It'll be fun. It'll be super easy. Might be a little short. Seems like it might be short. Okay, cool. And put your feet firmly on the ground and relax your knees. Oh, relax your base of your behind <laughs> that uh, first chakra space. Relax your second chakra, your creativity, money, and sex, sexual chakra. Go ahead and relax your third chakra. This is the wa, the eye chakra, and this is in your uh, solar plexus area. And go ahead and relax your heart chakra. Just relax. We're all about just relaxing. There you go. And then go ahead and relax the throat chakra. This is where we have speaking our truth. And this is one for me that's double-edged. It's like a great gift, and I block here all the time. Always clearing the chakra. And go ahead and go up into that third eye. It's kind of a violet color. And clear that space. And go ahead and reach up into the celestial energy of heaven and bring celestial energy down to you, all around you. And in a space of peace where you're kind of not really needing anything, you're just kind of kind of observing, go ahead and observe like life with that thing you've been seeking, maybe seeking you is already in place. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and ask yourself, what is one inspired action I can take today? And see if anything shows up. Nice. 
and then just kind of come back to center, come back to present, and shake it out, shake out your shoulders, shake out your knees, and as you go about your day, just kind of like pause every once in a while and ask yourself if there's a new inspired action. So maybe you're on a hike, and maybe your inspired action is to take a picture of the sun or the trees. And maybe you're taking a little moment where you take a hot bath, and maybe your inspired action is to add some lavender salts to it. It doesn't have to be this huge game-changing thing. We actually change in little bits. We change in little little increments, and we change until there's a lot of change. So there's this like little increment, little increment, little increment, little increment bam! <laughs> yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you so much. If you would like a private session, please email me at happypublishing at gmail.com, and I'd love to have that conversation with you. Thanks again so much.